all y'all welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah with hot taste otherwise known as things that might burn my face off mm -hmm. today's is the final installment of the gifts from uh, Tina in Tennessee that is adventures with mama I will have her link there description someplace you'll know where to find her um, and today from the pepper palace is the flat line the end flat line now this says better if refrigerated so I did put it in the fridge and I've just taken it out to put it here and then there's the seasoning caution extremely hot are you prepared yeah probably not but we're gonna try anyway uh, what I'll be eating this on with and dying through um, I've got some tomatoes and basil that came from my little pots outside the funny thing is they're regular tomato plants they're not supposed to be like tiny all of my tomatoes are like this big but they're delicious I've been getting you know nice and ripe and beautiful I just pick them off and you know what I'm gonna eat them because even if they're not huge they are yummy so we'll be using a little tomato with this I've got some bread here with some mayo and I'm you know we're gonna mix it up okay I am going to start I don't even have a beverage just know that my face might just evaporate with this stuff because it says flatline this is like this is gonna you know send me to an early grave actually it's too late to be an early grave but let's be real okay so oh goodness I took my hair down and I have hair on my hands but you know from taking it down I had it put up with a sharpie actually I've been working this is my lunch break that I'm recording this on I've been at work and uh, I got warm so I pulled my hair up and stuck a sharpie in it yeah all the scrunchies that I have in this house because I love to make scrunchies and I was using a sharpie to put my hair up anyway let's open this got it all good and shook up just in case some settled during shipping or whatever and it even says all over it caution extremely hot although the first ingredients aren't chilies and that's kind of good that that might save me a little bit garlic onions salt paprika those are the first ingredients and then it goes into cayenne peppers habanero peppers ghost peppers seven pot chocolate Douglas peppers reaper peppers oleo resin capsicum basil yeah I got some basil right there and black pepper like you could taste the basil with all those peppers going on I'm confused I'm really I'm yeah it's gonna be hot oh gosh I'm stalling can you tell I'm stalling all right ah sealed for your protection let's see if I can smell it through the seal I actually can a little bit yeah that's not unnerving at all oh it's a shaky shake good 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 I'm glad it's a shaky shake what I'm going to do I'm going to put some mayo on a corner of bread here and I've got the mayo in a bowl so that I'm not you know and just a little bit of my tomato let's give this stuff a try all right see you can see it's on there I don't skimp I'm not chicken I don't have any chicken right now but I'm not chicken either there's definitely some heat takes a second though it really does take a second to start going hi we're hot uh-huh I'm gonna try to put a little bit more on the area that has a little mayonnaise on it so it'll stick oh and I can actually see the basil in that yeah dried basil in there mm-hmm it's a The bread is just your basic Sara Lee butter bread. The mayo is Duke's because, of course. It 
that's pretty yummy. It's hot. My mouth feels warm. I can feel it, but it's not going wham, bam, bam. It's not knocking me dead yet. Maybe later. Maybe it builds. I don't know. I think if I were to keep eating it, like if I were to shake a bunch on some fries or something, by the end of that pile of fries, I'd be watering and carrying on. But yeah, just that little bit. It's pretty good, actually. It does have a pleasant heat. I think that the uh, that Chris Miller's 13 Flames of Fire is actually hotter than this. But this isn't bad. When this is from the Pepper Palace, by the way. From the Pepper Palace. All right. Not bad. Now we go to this stuff. Shaking it up because I bet it settled some. Gives you a number to reorder. So they're presuming you're not going to be flatlined when you eat this. Um, ingredients of this one, it does say to shake well. Uh, this one does not start with the onions and garlic like the, like the seasoning shaker did. Reaper peppers. Oleo resin capsicum. Water, vinegar, salt, tomato juice concentrate, ghost peppers, scorpion peppers, seven pot chocolate Douglam peppers, vitamin C, citric acid, and xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is usually used as a thickener. So I know about that because of I went keto for a while. And uh, you use xanthan gum to, to thicken stuff up. All right, I have shaken the fire out of this maybe oh 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 you know what Let's... mostly clean spoon it was in my stuff which is all going to me no I'm not having much of it I still have to work the rest of the day but I am doing it straight up for the sauce. I think the sauce is going to be much hotter than the shaker. I wish I'd done that. Ooh, <clears throat> with my plastic spoon, I hate the taste of metal. I coño. Oi, that's hot. Mmm. Yep, that is hot. Holy cannoli. Right to the back of the throat. And it's going, ha, 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 going to get you. Yes. Whew. And no beverage over here. Isn't that special? I'll just have a bite of tomato instead. Wow. Mmm. Which woke it back up. Oh, yeah. My nose is watering. My face is turning red. My mouth is on fire. Wow. I don't know what the scovelness of this is, but <clears throat> hot AF would cover it. Wow. Oh, Tina, this is what you did. Mm -hmm. I think this is what you were trying to do. Oh, let's have a little more section of mayo and tomato on this bread because it is lunchtime. Oh, my goodness. Mm. It's good tomato, though. Pardon me for sniffling, but uh, yeah. Mm. Man. Oh, that's still burning, y'all. Wow. I know I'm not a chili head. This might be easy stuff for some folks, but 
that's really, really hot. I would not be putting that on something necessarily. This though, yeah, it's hot, but it's yummy. This is just hot. I don't know why they bother, you know, putting anything else in it. It's just peppers. Although I think this one is just pepper. Yeah, tomato just concentrate. Yeah. Ah, uh, ay, ay, ay. Mmm. I don't think I have any ice cream in the house. That's bad. I need some ice cream. I know I don't have any milk in the house. I don't even have a beverage sitting here. Why? Because apparently I'm a glutton for punishment. Oy, ay, ay. Well, folks, that is hot taste. You watched me burn my face off again. Maybe I need to do something called sweet taste or something next. Man, whoo, hot, hot, hot. There'll be another hot taste next week, though, but probably not this stinking hot. Wow. <sighs> Thank y'all. Thank you for coming by and watching me suffer. I know you loved it. Yeah. I'll see y'all very, very soon. Click the links that popped up above, down below, if I remember to do all of that before I just, you know, go running down the street yelling for an ice cream man or something. Because the burn is still there. <laughs> see you soon. Bye.